Hello you guys and uh, welcome to another how to improve on video. Today I threw myself an easy one, uh, easy for me at least, and that is Jaina Proudmoore. Um, of all the mages in the game, this is by far the most, e if the most efficient one when played by me. That's how I nailed that. Um, Ten seconds. Uh, when I play Chromie, we usually have a disagreement on um, how to land the Q. Um, plus, if I get ganked, I'm I'm entirely screwed. If I play Li Ming, I can play Li Ming, but but not as efficiently as uh, those who play her well. And I am absolute rubbish with uh, Kelthas. Um, So, all in all, um, I am not. Uh, I'm not a brilliant mage player. However, I do know how to play Jaina, and I love her. I love her kit. Um, she is an excellent link, as you can see right here. Uh, she is one of the fastest characters to clear lanes. Um, I believe if you leave her be for too long, she will wreck Elaine uh, without you being able to do anything. That was rather violent. I somehow uh, managed to get the tracer killed, but I think that it I managed to do so because she blinked the wrong way. Um, I was hopeless, hopelessly overextending it at this particular instance, and that's just one thing you have to be aware of. Be aware of with Jaina. Uh, she's not good when you overextend with her. Um, and I encourage you to push a lane, but always keep your eyes down in in the min on the minimap. Where are everyone at all times? Because you don't want to be trapped. At at this moment, I can see four people in bot lane and one mid lane, so we can push. And now I'm going back because I can see two people. On the way. Three people on the map. Um, so I learned from my mistake and just kept back. And as you can see down in the Good middle, I Hero. there are three enemy heroes there. Um, and now I'm not looking at the minimap. And that will... No, that will not harm me at all um, because I'm getting out in just a second. And we got someone killed there, and we want to get out now, and we got out. If I had been just a an inch closer to the enemy fort, uh, or the enemy side of that particular lane, I would no doubt have been killed. Um, so, so that's an, a, a brilliant example on... Uh, how you need to position yourself well with Jaina. Don't be cocky, don't be overconfident. And if you follow that train of thought, uh, or that line of thought, you will be able to do a massive blow to the enemy uh, structures and heroes. One of the things that I think makes her excellent is that uh, she has that slow potential and increased damage uh, because she chills uh, the enemy heroes or minions or structures, um, making them take more damage from your other spells and slowing them. Killing spree. So she can be quite deadly. We are four minutes into this game and we're taking down. Uh, the first fort. Um, this is not entirely without. Um, well this is not entirely without the help from our teammates, but uh, still, there's there's a lot of the damage that uh, has to be credited to. Uh, 
to the spells of Jaina. Uh, we went for that um, increased E um, to make a wider arc and uh, reducing the cooldown for each enemy hit with it, I believe. Uh, mainly because um, if we have a wider arc, it's instant. Uh, it's not like with um, with Blizzard that has a small delay before it lands. And we want to be able to reveal Valera. One, because we don't want to be stunned by her or silenced by her. Um, two, because we reveal her to our teammates. And this allows us to have a, uh, a huge advantage when having this team fight. Um, so that this is the reason why I improved the E on this build. Um, In general, I think that that um, Jaina is not a that Jaina is a pretty strong pick when no matter which kind of team you're playing. Uh, if you need some range damage uh, and some spell burst, I think that Jaina can be a really good uh, is is a very viable and good pick. Uh, one thing, though, is that um, she needs someone to protect her. She needs someone to be uh, the front line, um, because if you do as I am doing right here, um, chances are that you will be punished from it. Now we have Varian in the front, so now I feel a, a little more safe. Um, now I'm running in to get a silly health glove uh, and using Ring of Frost defensively. Um, don't do as I do and uh, go in for Enough. a health globe uh, at, most of it. Uh, at all costs. Um, if you're playing with someone else, then make them, make them aware of that you need the health globes. So if they can take it, please take it. Um, but when I play quick match, I have a stupid tendency to... Uh, to go in for them myself. Well, we are four levels ahead, almost. Um, there. So we went for the uh, for the golem. Um, usually, I will not advise people to take the golem before you have a uh, a numbers advantage on at least two. Um, but being so far ahead on XP uh, would make it suicide if they tried to get in uh, and try to steal the boss. Yes, we get in there. Push down this keep. And they have three dead, so as far as I remember, I believe that we are winning this game right here. Uh, that was a bit premature, Ring of Frost. Um, so, alright, that was the first uh, game with Jaina. And, um,. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you will be back to see, or, or will stay here at least, to see the next part where I have some more info MVP. on Jaina. So see you guys in a bit. Alright, we find ourselves on Braxton's Holder. I, I know what it is. I know the names. Let's get going. This is really good skin, G. I like it. 
Conjurer's Pursuit, we need to have mana. Ten seconds. Um. I would say that that uh, Jaina is is not a hero that I necessarily need to improve a whole lot on. Um, she's more that kind of hero that I am very familiar with, but that I could use a little brush up on. I could just I just need that that one that that uh, well that small bit of. Um, That small bit of um, of practice on to become really, really effective with her. As you can see, I know exactly how to play her um, uh, in accordance to her to her skill set. Uh, one of the things that makes Jaina such a great hero is her lane clear is ridiculous. So much fun playing her. I need to hit this one. Let's see how you like this. Go away. You have to control them. The Jaina needs some um, some getting used to for new players. Um, I think she's really good. I think she's an amazing assassin. Uh, and by far my favorite mage. Control them. Let this work. If you're sure. Oh damn! Get up! No, oh, but you're uh... Uh, we're going for Frost Armor. People that attacked us are uh, going to be chilled. Yeah, that happened. Um, I could also go for some. I could also go for the Arcane Intellect, dealing damage to chilled target, returns mana to Jaina. Um, but that's why I picked um, Hunter's Pursuit. It's so that I always have a bit extra mana. Um, so I like Frost Armor better, it's, it's especially if I'm playing against um, Stealthers. Because if I'm playing against those guys, then I have no way to get out uh, safely. Ouch! Oh, wait, I was out of position. I'm sorry. Um, so that was a misplay on my behalf. Uh, I really wanted to get that tower, but I should actually have, I should have pulled back right here. And that's what I mean by it. I just need that that small amount of expertise on her before I put her into play in Hero League. Because I know her skill set. I know how how to deal the right amount of damage. I just have an a problem with when to turn back oh I should pick this one uh, we're going for frostbitten um. oh not me don't die on me go here or something. All right, oh. time to clear. Oh, so many Zerg. Right for us. Stop them. Stop them at once. Oh. Uh, I'm going to 
take that. And then we're going to take this, and this, and this. Uh, Jaina is especially good on maps like Drax Hold-Up because she has the uh, because she has such great lane clearing uh, abilities. Uh, she does not only have one AoE uh, spell, she has two. Uh, she has Blizzard and she has a Cone of Cold. Um, which really allows her to um, to throw a lot, to throw around with a lot of uh, spread damage. I'll take care of I have brought you glory. Revel in it. Um, I actually think that she uh, excels at pushing lanes on the same level as a lot of the specialists are. Um, we're going for Ring of Frost. I always go for Ring of Frost. It's my one way of really escaping because I can root the enemies. Um, I'm going up here to get that. Sounds interesting. I don't know if this is dangerous. No, it's not. She's also excellent at getting uh, camps, uh, but mostly at well done. level uh, level 13, where I can get ice barrier. So every time I deal ability damage, uh, every time I deal ability damage, I get a small shield. They have just gotten that, so I believe that there might be another hero nearby. And we should probably use the others. At least the Zerg that are coming for us are not as numerous as the ones our enemies face. So maybe that's your job. I'm getting out. I think I'm from start. Uh, sadly, they just killed our Valyra. Uh, I'm overextending like crap. I don't mean any offense. I just want to be sure. Uh, Ice Barrier. I could also go for the range on the Blizzard. That's that's entirely up to whoever is playing. Um, it's all about preferences, really. Uh, but I think I'll go for Ice Barrier because uh, their fall stat is really aggressive. And the Butcher Pack. Just one I need one more. So I'm going down here. 
But I will return again. I'll take care of it. And I've completed my quest. Uh, as you can see, I haven't had so any it. need uh, to go back for mana. Uh, only in the early game. Oh, go away, Murky. I've got a good feeling about this. We are not friends. What make uh, what makes Jane an especially good teammate is that she is able to slow with her uh, with her attacks, which allows Valera in this instance to uh, kill That's enough out of you. Which allows uh, Valera to get the kill right there, as she did. Uh, he moved the deck. Uh, Sounds interesting. I usually go for Northern Exposure because when I do that, they get vulnerable, and when they get vulnerable, I kill them much faster. Oops. Uh, the slow right here allowed our uh, chrome to get away. And we got rid of the six. And I will try to push up top. Uh, we have a three level advantage right now. Um, we're good. Because this is a very snowballing map. I, I really think that she is able to push as effectively as any, um, the, as many of the uh, as many of the um, uh, of the specialists. Sorry, I got distracted. That was a murky and Zerg waves defeated. Uh, Resetting pens as per protocol. And it was not like I was scared or anything, but But I was cautious. Definitely cautious. Now I'm out of mana, but I've, al I've also been out there for quite a time, like quite some time. We've dealt 135,000 siege damage. That's what I was talking about. Um, Jaina being equal to to the specialists on siege damage. We no haven't dealt as much hero damage, but we've pretty much used our hero damage to end the uh, opposing heroes. But we contributed with a whole lot of XP. Enemy defeated. Precisely as it 
should be. I hope Tell that coming well through. Done. A power spike from the beacons. The the They'll be active soon. I enjoy playing Jaina for three reasons. One, she is an excellent uh, lane throw. Two, she is such an asset to a team. And three, um, when you land a good Ring of Frost, that there is nothing more satisfying than that. It's like landing a really good mush pit. Now I'm out of position and I was really stupid. The only reason I survived that was because I have a teammate who thought, well, uh, maybe you shouldn't go in suiciding. Let me help you there. Um, I have a tendency to overextend with Jaina because I think she's so powerful, and she is powerful, uh, but she's not invincible. That's a huge difference. Towards your enemy. Oh. Um, and even though I hear myself say these words, she's not invincible, I still kind of believe that she is. Um, we're going for improved ice block. Because when I get into these situations where I am doing crazy stuff, um, really crazy dumb stuff, it's a good idea to have something to just you know, like, get out. Alright, so we've got the key. They got our fault. Well, you went to the We are clear of the Zerg. Who designed this ramshackle facility? Find these mercenaries into our service. You kill the Ragnaros. Alright, you kill the Ragnaros. Why don't you kill the Ragnaros? Thank you. about to win now. be dead now. Just Let's get going. I'm just going to the other end of the core. I 
I'm, I'm just going through this. You will play. So this went pretty well. I really think that this is this was good. MVP. In a scale from one to ten, I think that I'm a seven with with Jane. Um, I'm just about to be. I just need maybe one or more, one or two more games to become really effective with Jane. And she concludes this. Uh, the third week of my boot camp, and now we begin for the fourth and last uh, week. Um, before I leave you to whatever you're going to do for the rest of the day, I am going to give you three tips in order to play or to improve on your Jaina. One, her lane clears is uh, exceptional um, because her skills are exceptional. Find out how much damage you actually give because uh, on how much damage you actually do because knowing the right amount of damage and how it can affect in a team fight will really prove useful to positioning it's really important that you position yourself well with Jaina or any mage at all because she doesn't have a lot of escapes she doesn't have a lot of health so if she gets uh, cornered she's a goner uh, and the last thing, utilize that exceptional link clear. Um, you can really get a lot of work done by uh, pushing down their uh, forts and just clearing lanes at, you know, all the time. Just be careful again with the positioning that you don't overextend because, oh, I really want that tower just as I did in this game. Um, be reasonable. Look down at your minimap to see, well, can I do this? No, I cannot do this because three of the enemy heroes are not on the map so I'm just going to pull back uh, and clean the clear the lane again so I really hope you enjoyed this video I love Jaina she is one of my favorite characters and um, if you love if you like this uh, video then please hit the thumbs up leave a comment or subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time